everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I love Barney the Hellcat, as you know. I love the sound it makes. I've got the mid muffler delete. It's made the car a lot louder. It's, it's just, you can hear the performance, it's fantastic. The cold starts though, the cold starts are kind of loud. It's a cold start with Barney. I don't know if you can hear me. It's really loud. Yeah, so you can see the cold starts are loud. I live in a townhouse complex, although maybe not for long. And I gotta worry about my neighbors a little bit. A little bit, right? So I want the option of being able to have the car quiet or quieter when needed. And so that led me to this. Okay, I got these on eBay. Uh, the link will be down below in the description. This, these are exhaust restrictors that you can put into your rear exhaust tips. Now I've done something similar to this on my FRS. All right, it worked on the FRS, but will it work on such a gigantic noise producer as Barney? I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a try. So it's gonna need a little modification to the exhaust tips. I'm gonna have to drill a hole right at the bottom so that this hole will match up. It's gonna go right in like that, roughly this far in. Now, I'm gonna paint them black so you can't really see them hopefully, but that's going to hopefully make a difference. Now, will the car be quiet? No, no, it's not gonna be quiet. But on a cold start, it might make it more livable, especially if you have neighbors that you're worried about. And of course, you can take them out anytime. It comes out with one bolt. So if you want to be loud, you can be loud. If you want to be quieter, you can be quieter. So let's get started. So the first step is to jack up the car so I have room to work underneath there. Okay, as you can see, I've got the back end of the car jacked up just a little bit, just so I have room to work on this area. Oh, and uh, check out my performance uh, differential brace. Still looking really good, I'm glad I put that on. Gives you just a little bit more security, peace of mind. Now, what I'm gonna do is that with this convenient little dimple right here, I'm gonna drill a hole right through here, which is at the very bottom of the exhaust tip. And that is the perfect mounting spot for the exhaust reducer. And I made short work of that. That hole is done. That's a quarter inch wide hole, which is just big enough, a little bit bigger than the uh, actual bolt that has to go through. As you can see, it's gonna go right through here and let's see if it's going to come through enough. Okay, there's our hole. And there we go. Let's see if this will bolt right in. Okay, so more specifications. The actual diameter of this part which has to fit inside your tip is just slightly under three and a half inches because the measurement here here to here is three and a half inches so if you follow the link on my on e to ebay you'll find that you can get this one this looks like a fairly high quality stainless steel though it's hard for me to say it it looks nice it's nice and shiny um, it's welded uh, spot welded three times Hopefully that will keep it going. But of course, I'm not gonna be using these all the time. This is just once in a while. You know, I'm not gonna run the car with this because that doesn't make any sense. It's just for cold starts in some cases where you have to get up early in the morning. Then you take these out after you've been driving for a while and the car's just fine. And so it's just, just once in a while use, right? Okay, let's see. Let's put this in here. And it does fit. It's a little loose, to be honest. It's a little loose. You actually see you've got room around the edges. But if you get a four inch um, exhaust reducer, then it's gonna be too big. So you gotta get the three and a half inch. Okay. Now, then the bolt just goes right through here. There you go, just like that. And you take your Allen 
wrench and you simply tighten her up. And that's it. Now it's tightened up. That's what the final product's gonna look like. Like I said, I'm going to actually paint these black so it doesn't show up too much. But for now, that one's done. Now I'm gonna do the other one. And then we're gonna start the car. We're gonna see the difference between the cold start, which you already heard before, and this one. Okay, job done. That one's done. That one's done. That was actually a little bit easier than I thought. Uh, so now is the, the time to test it, actually. The car has not started today. Now, it's not a super cold day, but still, this will be a cold start. And I think we'll be able to see that there might be a difference, but I'm not actually sure. Uh, we're gonna find out right now. Okay, my two exhaust reducers are in place. Let's do a cold start. Let's see if there's any noise reduction. I really hope there is.